What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great on this beautiful Wednesday. Had a nice day yesterday. Didn't do, I didn't hit 100. I didn't get no big orders yesterday, but I did do 96. I was $4 short of my, 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 um, my goal. Today I'm gonna hit my goal today. I have to. I got things I need to do. So we're on our way to Chick Fil A. Come on, come on, come on. We're taking this light. Okay, it didn't change. Woo. We was gonna take it. Come on, get on over. Come on, get over. I wanna thank the Lord for waking me up this morning on this beautiful Wednesday. If you don't know, today is Throwback Wednesday, family. I throw something at you, you throw it back. Today we're going to talk about uh, something that your mother told you to, not to do and you did it anyway. And what she told you not to do came true. But you know I got to start. Um, my mom told me, I think this was in 1987. She told me, never buy a girl pair of tennis shoes. And in 1987, the Reebok Classic just first came out. I don't know what year it really came out, but I know they just dropped the white on white Reebok Classic. And I, at this time, I was dating this girl named Tia. From, she was from Westport. That's why by Cherry Hill. If you don't know where Cherry Hill is, Westport, that's in Baltimore, Maryland. So it's, it's, it's in between um, Cherry Hill and uh, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. You know, a lot of people that live in Westport claim they were living in Cherry Hill. So, you know, Cherry Hill and Westport were almost the same thing. They were side by side. You know, it was just that Westport was more houses, townhouses, and Cherry Hill was the project. So, anyway, when the new classes came out, I had bought this girl a pair of tennis shoes, man. I remember calling up and saying, hey, baby, I got you those classic. She came down to Flag House. She caught three buses to get there to get them daggone classic. Gave her the classic. Had a nice time with her that day. And that was the last day I saw her. <laughs> that was the last day I saw that girl, man. And this was my girlfriend. We've been, we've been going out for like a couple of months. As soon as I bought those classic, man, she walked right out of my life. And I remember going to my mom, and I was like, Mom, you was right. I bought that girl a pair of tennis shoes, I ain't see her no more. And she told me, don't do it. She said, you don't be buying no girls no tennis shoes, they walk right out your life. No shoes at, at that time. That was a true saying back then. So when I got, when I, um, when I met my wife, she was like, always talking about buying shoes. Nope. I bought her purses, I bought everything else. She bought her own shoes. That one incident, incident taught me not to buy women no shoes. I never bought no women no shoes. I gave my wife money to go get the shoes, but I never bought her the shoes. I did buy her uh, the tennis shoes. I bought all the tennis shoes that she, she, she fell in love with. But see, I'm married now, so, you know. Back then, but before I got married, I ain't buy my wife no shoes. Yeah. <sighs> Mom was right, man. Mom was right. At that time, she was right. So if your mom's told you not to do something and you did it anyway, and she was 100% right, let me know in this video, family. Let's talk about it. I don't know why I came this way. The only time that you experience traffic in Tampa is in the morning and in the evening. The rest of the day is nice, man. That's just an accident. I very rarely get on the highway. Oh my God, man. It's a bus in front of me. I hate buses in Tampa, man. 
You got kids here, you got kids there, you got kids there. That's three stops when it should be just one stop. Come on, is there an accident up here? Gee, we ain't even moving. The light is green. So what I do, I'm going to Chick-fil-A up here by the mall. So I'm going to cut through the mall. If I can get up here. The light is green, but we're not moving. Okay, we're finally moving. Yep. I learned to listen to my mom, whether I like it or not. You got to listen to people that already went through some things. Can't listen to people that ain't been through nothing. All right, family, we going off road. Man, we ain't going through all this stuff. It's time for us to get creative. All right. through things. What? Mr. Popo, you over here. You about to get me because I'm cutting through the mall, the parking lot. Can't what nobody say we out of here. I think it's a ticket to cut across the parking lot. I don't know. But I'm out this joint. Yeah, we come right through the mall parking lot. What's up, big homie? Yep, I'm gonna get my coffee. Great cup of coffee yesterday, man. All right. <laughs> there we go. We done cut through all the traffic. <laughs> we out of here, Joe. Woo -hoo! That's how you do it. As soon as I cut through the trap, I get caught at the light. Oh my gracious, man. I, had, I didn't have any Walmart orders yesterday, man. It was all six, seven, eight, nine dollar order, but I did a lot of orders yesterday, man. A lot. I got tired, man. I was like, Psh. I could have went on. I could have hit my goal. But I got tired, you know. But I'm gonna hit it today. Got that cable bill due. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I work hard on my my uh, the week that I don't get paid. I work hard on that week. Yes, uh, I try to take care of everything. Ooh, almost got hit. We're going to be up to our joint in a minute. Oh, God. Oh, boy. So they got these employee walk um, walkways where they push the button and then everything light up. You have to stop. A lot of people don't stop. If you hear somebody in that walkway, you can hang it up. What's going on with this Popeye chicken sandwich, man? Yesterday at Popeye, man, up there on uh, North of Bush, man, they was out there fighting like cats and dogs, man. They was out there throwing down, fighting in drive-through. Apparently the woman cut the other woman off, man, they was out there throwing down. I'm talking about ripping shirts off. I'm like, oh my gracious, wow. You know I had to watch the fight, you know. I ain't seen a fight like that in a long time. You know? Then the two boyfriends get in the fight. They fighting like the girls, ripping each other's shirts off all over chicken sandwich. And then Trini, what's up with DC, man? Well, Oxen Hill. What's up with back home, man? I heard back home a dude stab a dude to death over a daggone chicken sandwich. Apparently, he jumped in line while he was waiting in line. The dude pulled out a knife and shanked him up. 
and Oxen here. You going to jail for a daggone chicken sandwich. What? Ain't no way in hell. Pop out what y'all put crack in that sandwich. Y'all got people going crazy. The sandwich is good, man. But it's the sauce, man. It's the sauce. All it is is a crunchy chicken breast with that, that, that spicy sauce. Spice, it's a spicy mayonnaise. That's what it is. It's some type of spicy mayonnaise they put up there. You get the mayonnaise, man, just buy the breast. Fry that joint up. I teach you how to uh, uh, fry up a fresh, crusty, crunchy chicken breast. Get you some nice flour with some season. Get you an egg, dip that sucker in egg. Drop that sucker in the deep fry. Watch that thing get crispy. Yeah, my mom make the best chicken, man. Oh my God, she can make original crispy, you know. <laughs> my mom can make some chicken. Culture. Let's not act that crazy over some freaking chicken. Don't make no sense. You don't see nobody out there fighting over no whole malls and chitlins. Don't be fighting over no chicken. Don't fight over no collard greens. You know? God, you make our culture look so bad. Man, what you in jail for? Oh, I, sh I stabbed this guy over a chicken sandwich. I was waiting in line. They were like, man, please, chicken sandwich? You gonna do life in jail for a chicken sandwich? What the hell? You got your priority mixed up. You know? And that dummy probably said, well, at least I ain't in jail for, for a woman. It's gonna be messed up, man. It's gonna be 90% of our culture in jail for a chicken sandwich. I mean, 90% of our culture in jail for uh, for a woman, and the other 10% is gonna be for a chicken sandwich. Ain't that about nothing? All right, so I gotta go make a U-turn. Came out a little too far. I said that Popeye chicken sandwich with that spicy mayo, man. It's, it's good sandwich. And they give you the biggest piece of chicken breast you ever seen. But it ain't worth going to jail for. It's not. Man, my daughter had three sandwiches in three days. She asked me yesterday, Dad, you going to pop? Oh, hell no, I ain't going to no pop out. Don't even ask. If you can't get it on Uber Eats, Grubhub, or DoorDash, I'm not sitting in no line watching these food go crazy over no chicken sandwich. And I was like, don't even talk to your mom, because she asked me, I'm going to tell her the same thing. Hell to the no. I'm not going to pop out for no chicken sandwich. You can't, it's, it's no part of the day you can go without it being crowded. Come on, woman turn. Jesus Christ. Alone. They probably line up right now in Tampa. And the sandwich is not going nowhere, guys. It's part of the menu now. It's here to stay. I think everybody that get killed or beat up get hurt over a chicken sandwich need to shoot Popeye. They got crack in the mayo. <laughs> they got drugs in that sandwich, guys. Got your hook. Oh. Alright, guys, we had Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go ahead and get this. This, um, this what you call it.
goes get this salmon. I mean, that I said salmon. See, he got me hooked on that man. I had two of them. I did buy me two. But hey, I'm good. I'll be back, fam. I'm back, family. You know everything got to go in the bag. Alright, so let's see where we're going at. Alright, Miss Regina, I got your coffee. I mean, your, your food. So I gotta give me some coffee, man. Okay. We're going to Bush. What you got? Bush Oak Street. Wow. All right, let's bless somebody with some good old breakfast this morning. Tennessee whiskey. Love that song. I don't know what made me say that. I'm not a drinker. Get this day started, man. Once again, I'm on vacation, man. I'm having a great time. Man, the wife will be chilling. She let me do my dash thing. I didn't put no money away to go uh, for this vacation, so I got to go out here and make some money. Most of my money, my vacation money went to Big Bertha. But I needed to rest, you know. We coming into our busy season, and uh, I needed to rest. <sighs> Man. My team is full now. I think I got more employees than anybody. Between five supervisors, I think I got the most employees. It's a good thing, but it's it's not a it's not a wonderful thing, but it's a good thing. I'm responsible for like 18 people. It's a lot of people. Some supervisors got four people, some supervisors got five people. I got 18. I'm not mad though. All right, guys. So, Monday night, my boys play. 49ers play uh, the Seahawks. You know, we hate the Seahawks. I got a niece that's in the Air Force. She just moved to Seattle. Man, she's a Seattle Seahawks fan. But yesterday, guys, I didn't have no, uh, no drama. Just seen, when I went to Red Lobster, I just seen them fighting over there at the, uh, the Popeye. But yeah, man. Calm down, family, calm down. We better than this. Let's not give people something to talk about, especially a dad with chicken soup. They got so many jokes out there. I heard a guy telling a guy yesterday, what's the quickest way to jail? Mess with somebody, pop out chicken sandwich. I just looked at him like, really dude? Y'all gonna sit here and talk about this in front of me like that? Like one of the racist jokes I ever heard. <laughs> and they was telling it. <laughs> I was like, man, you don't see all us black folks in here. You probably get your butt whipped over a joke that wasn't funny. <laughs> but I couldn't be mad at them, man, because we give them something to talk about. And the other guy was laughing so hard. He didn't even realize he was—he's—he's he's made his joke, 
in a room full of black folks. <laughs> You can tell he was like um, well educated. He had to school him. I ain't pay him no mind, but he schooled the hell out of him. It wasn't funny after he stopped started talking. But stuff like that I don't let get to me, man. I really don't. I just let it fly over my head. It's easy to go to jail, but it's hard to keep your cool. Ain't that about nothing? It's easy to go to jail, but it's hard to keep your cool. So I learned how to keep my cool. Cause I ain't trying to go to jail. Something wrong with that picture. Hopefully we get another order, fam. Yeah, I'm knocking these videos out, man, so I can dash. Can't concentrate on two things no more. But let's get this um, Chick-fil-A over here and hopefully we get another order. If not, I will see y'all tomorrow. Hell no Thursday. Alright, my Waze app is showing me a bunch of popo up here. What's going on up here? Oh. Excuse me. Halloween was nice in Tampa, man. I got a chance to see some beautiful houses, some beautiful decorations. The only tragedy we had was the little six-year-old boy got hit by a car. But that's, a, that's all I heard on the news. Thank God he gonna be okay. I'm trying to figure out where his family was at. Why was nobody holding his hand? You got to hold kids' hands, man. Kids would run out, see something, or, you know, see a dog or cat, and they run right out in the middle of the street to grab it. surrounded by, by nothing but school bus. Got four in front of me, one just went past, two over here. Come on, never gonna get caught at the light because of these buses. Unbelievable. I seen this light turn red twice. It's not good. I used my daughter car mostly all yesterday to dash in the evening. Today it look like it's gonna rain. Look like it's gonna thunderstorm. We haven't had rain in a while, so we do for some. 
I want to also put the people in California on prayer list, man. If their house is burning down. Yeah, man, that, that that fire, man. That's bad when you got to evacuate. And think about the money they did. The million dollar houses that's burning down, man. Y'all got money like that? When you say you burn money, you actually do burn money in, in, in California. But you got to have that insurance. I think LeBron James had to evacuate. Not for sure. I seen LeBron James with a do rag on yesterday, man. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. LeBron, come on over to the team, man. You play for the Lakers, man, but you gotta you gotta get on the ball head team, man. Stop playing. I know you got a funny shaped head. But you ain't got hair like that player to be having a do rag on. Let it go. Be like Mike, man. Shave that mess off. People out here buying hairline. I ain't had a hairline since 1989. <laughs> I ain't had a shape up since 1989, 1990. Straight razor, baby. Straight razors. Come on, people. Let's go. Ah, oh, that's a long light, too. I ain't gonna miss this light because there's only one car in front of me. I'm gonna pull right on their bumper. When they go, I'm go. When they go, I go. Yeah, don't look like we going nowhere right now. Come on, man, you got to go. What you waiting on? Go. Pull up. Oh, believe it. I knew it was a woman. <laughs> no disrespect, man. When I need y'all to drive, y'all don't drive. When I need y'all to slow down, y'all drive like y'all don't lost y'all freaking mind. Y'all gonna kill that guy. Unbelievable. Okay, push over drive. Family, I'll be right back. All right, fam, I'm back. Beautiful house, man. All right, so let's go. Let's clear this out. Let's clear this out. Let's see what we got here. Right. She said, I tip you on the app. Want no tip on this app? She must gonna do it later. They be killing me. I be like, do I look like I want, is my face saying I'm on a tip? <laughs> but I get that a lot. I tip you on the app, then I look on the app, I ain't got no tip. I don't have no tip. That don't bother me, man. If I was working for tips, I'd be in trouble. In a sense, you do work for tip, but if you're doing DoorDash for the tips, you're gonna be, boy, you're gonna be pissed off every day. I do it because I love it. I don't do this for the tips. You don't get that many tips. That's for sure. Alright family, we on our way to Dunkin' Donuts. Man, 
they about to, you think about to fight? Oh, jeez. Road rage at its best. There's a lot going on out here. All right, fam, don't forget today is Throwback Wednesday. Throwback, something that your mother told you not to do and you did it anyway, and she was 100% right. Let's talk about it, fam. But I got to go, fam. I got to get out here and make some money today. Getting this video over with so I can do what I do, what I love to do. Dang, that's a Dunkin' Donut right there. All right, fam, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace, family. I want, another thing I want to tell my whole YouTube family, I love you. Stay safe. Go get you a chicken sandwich, but don't fight nobody. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Hi, right, family. Love you. Peace.